My name is Luke Close. I'm a gettable artist from the Northern Rivers, New South Wales. Lismore is where I'm living, and I'm living on Widgeable Country. My latest exhibition, it's called Perspective, is happening at the Mali from the 22nd of October through to the 29th of November. It's called Perspective because of the way I look at things. And I also see myself in a corridor of life where nine or eight corridors are backed up to each other. So my perspective may be different to somebody else's and it's the way I look at things. And it's through a, a cultural identity, it's through a song line, and it's through a connection with my country. And that I'm actually sharing and bringing and giving other people a glimpse of. So you're getting a portal into my dreaming. It's a life force, it's a source, and it comes from one end of the universe and it channels through me. And it is coming out through the artwork that is presented here. What I'd like people to take away from this exhibition is knowing that they're a unique, important person on this planet and you're on the spirit mother who is here to look after and protect you and guide you and you have a role too and that is to look after yourself, look after the people around you and acknowledge the plants, animals and the fabric of this land as something that nourishes you, not you take from it, not you steal from it, not you destroy, but you look after. That's what I'd like people to take away from this exhibition. So um, my name is Kyra Kum Singh. I'm a Malera Bunjalung and Mitakudu Dewe. I'm from Northern New South Wales and also Clonclary, Queensland. Um, I'm also an artist and a curator at Bumali. Aboriginal Artist Cooperative. I got into the arts um, by, I was living up on country and I've come back to Sydney and I needed to work. So I ended up coming here and being a gallery hand at Bumali. And then after that, I have continued to practice my um, artist practice and also as a curator. So I ended up in the arts, I guess, by chance. For me, as a curator and in the performing arts, as well as contemporary arts, I guess I've always been driven by my connection to country. Um, and that is what I've always maintained as um, growing up. I was lucky enough to be able to go in and out of the arts. Um, started out as a dancer. Then I went into journalism media. And then after that, I've ended up in as a curator now, so, and also doing a bit of art when I can. But curating at the moment is taking most of my time. However, I do love to do art when I get the chance and it keeps me connected to who I am. So this year alone, I've managed to do, curate four exhibitions. Oh, actually it's three exhibitions. Um, and I mentored a first-timer artist to um, um, teach her the ropes around curating and some of the um, different sorts of things that we have to do as a curator. I'm also an installer as well, so it's, it's quite different because I'm also putting the works on the wall as well as curating the show. And the ones that I have done this year, which I'm probably most proud of was my suicide awareness exhibition called Invincible. Um, it hasn't been easy during COVID, but I feel that, that we needed to do those exhibitions. Um, even if it's hard hitting, it was um, intended to make you think about some of the issues that are going on in our communities firsthand and getting those mothers in was important to put on this show as well as our own artists. I guess, um, it's important to support your Aboriginal organisations. So 
people such as like the organisation I work for, Bumali Aboriginal Artists Cooperative, um, we ha opened that door for really the community to be able to break into the contemporary art space, especially in Sydney. We represent New South Wales Aboriginal artists and volunteering as well, that gets you help. Um, also upskilling yourself and learning the trades and the tricks of the industry has helped me and also having a good support base around you and making sure that you're safe within yourself. My name is Hayley Pigram and I'm a Darug woman. I grew up in Liverpool, so I'm from South West Sydney. Uh, my people are originally from that area, um, from the Hawkesbury, Parramatta River area. I originally got into visual arts when I was about 25 years old. Um, I didn't do any visual arts in high school because I thought that you had to have like a natural talent for it. Um, and I just didn't study it at all. And I studied all the sciences because I was a bit of a brainy nerd. And then when I was about 25 years old, I left everything that I had been doing because I wasn't doing very well mentally. And I started doing a program run by Mission Australia called Creative Youth Initiatives. And I remember walking in and I said, I really like art, but I'm not any good at it. And they were like, oh, that's okay. And I picked up a paintbrush for the first time and I had a lot of fun. And it turned out I was pretty good at it because it kind of has nothing to do with natural talent. It has to do with if you have a passion for it and if you have enthusiasm and if you keep trying. And that was 10 years ago this year. And I kind of haven't left visual arts since then, um, which was really weird because all my life before then I had done all science stuff. So it was a very big surprise to everyone in my life that I would just start doing art stuff and be very successful at it and have a lot of fun. I thought art could be the career for me because the first time I did any kind of art, I thought to myself, this is the first time I've ever done something in my entire life where I'm happy and content and I don't want to do anything else. I'm not rushing to finish it so I can go home and do something else. I'm not thinking about the TV show or the video game I want to play at the end of the day. I'm not thinking about the music I want to listen to. I'm not thinking about the friend I want to be talking to. I'm just really content in the moment. It was like doing a meditation or something. And then when I finished the program that I was doing, they actually had a really big exhibition. And you hung all your art on the walls in a gallery at the local TAFE and people could buy your work. And some people bought some of my work and they weren't my family or my friends or anyone that I knew. And I was incredibly shocked that people would pay actual money for something that I made. And so I was like, so I can do something that I don't hate and people will pay money for it? Now I didn't think I would get rich and to be fair, I haven't. Um, and I still have to work other jobs and they're in the creative field. Um, but I get to do something I really love and makes me feel really connected to my culture and my ancestors and my family. And I've never been able to find anything else that makes me feel that way. <laughs>